Sealing like a professional is not impossibly difficult. With professional guidance and by taking the necessary care, you can do a lot yourself. Careful preparation, high quality materials and the right tools will help you. Before you apply the silicone, clean the joint with an acetone-based cleaning agent to remove grease and other contamination. Apply the cleaning agent to a fresh cloth and thoroughly clean the joint and surface. It's advisable to wear gloves while doing this to protect the skin. For deep joints, it's important to insert a backer rod. This will give the subsequently applied silicone grip and ensure that it doesn't run into the cracks. This is because the silicone is only supposed to adhere to two sides so that any movement can be optimally and elastically absorbed and so prevent damage. Cut open the silicone cartridge with a cutter or sharp knife and screw on the nozzle applicator provided. Cut off the top of the nozzle applicator diagonally. The right tools reduce the risk of injury. The opening of the nozzle should match the width of the joint. Insert the silicone cartridge into the sealant gun and stabilize it with the plunger. The cartridge should hold firmly. Press the silicone out of the cartridge as far as the tip of the nozzle. Apply to such as dust or grease, will interfere. Using masking tape around the joint can help the less experienced user to work more neatly. The cured silicone can stick to the masking tape, so it should be removed immediately after tooling. What is a sealant tooling agent? And how is it different from a detergent? The diluted tooling agent later ensures that the silicone does not adhere to the sealing tools too much and significantly simplifies sealing. To make life easier for yourself, you could immerse your work materials in the tooling agent before sealing. Good tooling agents are chosen to match the sealant. Detergent can be aggressive and lead to staining. There are two types of backer rods used as backing material for wide joints. The grey round cord is more expensive and made of polyethylene. It's used in sanitary applications, for joints that come into contact with water and in outdoor applications. The yellow round cord is made of less expensive polyurethane and is used in dry indoor applications, such as for door cases or expansion joints. Here you can see the different application of silicone on three tiles. On the right, the optimum amount is used. 
In the middle, too little is applied. And on the left, too much silicone is put in the joint. The direct comparison clearly illustrates the differences. As an alternative to the hardwood spatula, you can also use plastic sealant tools from specialist stores. The important thing is that you have a triangular joint after peeling off and tooling. It combines optimum durability and elastic performance. Thanks to the two-sided adhesion, the silicone can fully retain its elasticity even under load. In the case of three-sided adhesion, the material tears more quickly because it does not stay as flexible. Mirrors can also be bonded easily and quickly. Correctly apply GenioSil N45 in serpentine lines to the back and then firmly press the mirror to the wall in the desired position. For large mirrors, apply the beads in vertical, parallel lines. Whether natural stone, glass, concrete, sanitary installations or exterior walls, Vaca offers the right product to seal most construction materials. Just contact our sealant specialists. They can tell you exactly what material is best suited to what purpose. Construction silicone sealants from Vaca. Versatile, durable and excellent. Vaca. Creating tomorrow's solutions.